One way to summarize data is to use subtotals. Let's say that I want to use subtotals on this sales data that will show the commission earned for each one of the associates. First, I think about what I want the solution to show, a list of the associates and a total for each person. Focusing on the end result will help me choose the correct options as I move through the menu. There are three basic steps to creating subtotals. First, I need to check that my data is organized appropriately in rows and columns, which it is. I also need to make sure that I do not have an Excel table. If I do, the first step will be to convert my table to a range. I do happen to have a table here, so I'll go to the Table Tools Design tab and click Convert to Range. The second step will be to sort my data by the sales associate's name. I will sort by the last name field. You'll notice that each person has multiple rows recording their sales. By sorting, I am effectively grouping each person's sales together. Now I can run my subtotals. I'll go to the Data tab and click on Subtotal. If you get to this point and the button's grayed out, check that you're in a range and not a table. The first option is a drop-down menu that says At Each Change In. Choose the same field that you sorted by, which is the last name. We are looking to total the data, so we'll choose SUM for our function. If we want to show a different statistic, such as average, we would change that option here. Add Subtotal 2 is where we choose what fields we want to sum. In this case, we're summing the commissioned earned column. You can choose as many fields as you want, as long as the fields make sense to give a sum for. So our subtotals say, at each change in the last name, so going down the list, every time the last name changes, a subtotal will be calculated. So at each change in the last name, take the sum of the commission earned column. Our subtotals are added to the data, and our spreadsheet's also outlined for us. We can use the outline level buttons to show various degrees of detail. Level 1 shows the grand total. Level 2 shows the grand total and the subtotals. This is what we were hoping to see when we started, so we did everything correctly. Level 3 shows all of the detail with the individual rows or records. One of the most common errors I see students make with their subtotals is forgetting to sort their data first. Let me show you what it looks like if you forget. Okay, now my last names are out of order. I'll use the same options for my subtotal and switch to outline level 2. Look at how many names are repeated multiple times. This is because the subtotal was given every time the name changed. As it is, the data is inaccurate and ineffective. So be sure that you're working with data that has been sorted correctly before you begin your subtotals.